Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how to capture the screen or how to grab the screen. Or one question is how to take a screenshot of our screen. So in this video, I will give you a solution about that question. So let's start. First of all, simply include basic header files, Qt core and Qt GUI. Okay, now create the object of Q screen class. Okay, right now I have only one screen. So simply get the primary screen. And if you want to get how many screens are connected with your computer, just simply call this screen functions. So you will get the all available screens. Let's simply print the all screens. At of i. Okay, so you for this way you can easily get your available screen names. Get the name. Now let's run the application. You can see I have only one display. If you have a multiple display, you will get the multiple names here. Now let's capture the window. Call the grab window function and pass your ID. Window ID and now save the picture in our PixMap. Screen image. Okay. Now let's save this image. Where let's save in our, our application directory. Screen image dot bmp. Okay, now let's run the application. Let's open the file holder. You can see the image. Our screenshot image. Also, you can display that image in our label control or in UI. Take one label control to display the image. Scale content to fit the image in our label control and just simply assign the pix map to your label control. Set pix map. Let's run the application. You can see also you can take push button to capture the image on push button event. Write the same code here. Now let's run the application. You can see 
open the debug folder our application folder and capture the image so you can see the captured image and also saved image so by this way you can easily capture the our screen or also you can define specific region of your screen let's define x x equal to 100 and y equal to 100 and define your screen width how much area you want to capture just simply write 500 and also set the height now pass the parameter here x y width and height now let's check you can see oh, the specific region is only captured in our image you can see the image size also 500 by 500 so by this way you can easily capture the image or capture the any specific region of your screen image or also you can take the continuous image capturing in uh, qt by use of qtimer so thanks for watching my video please drop your comment if you have any question about how to use q screen class in our application and please like the video subscribe to my youtube channel and share this video with your friends and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of new next video and thank you